Why do you like DBZ? Because it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. Everything makes sense. It's fantastic, right? Whether it's dubbed or not, whether it's just, you, you know, in its pure form, I don't give a fuck. It's, it's fantastic. Naruto, it's just, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Naruto is what brought us to these times of just sensitivity and pussy bullshit. I'll be honest. It might have been Naruto for all we know. It might have been Naruto like deeply stepped into people and just became complete fucking soy boys. I'm telling you, I, I might have actually fought. Holy shit. In a hundred fucking years, someone might be like, Professor, we have found the uh the starting point to the fake woke bullshit and the soy boy tendencies uh yep it looks like in a deep-rooted analysis we have found into the center of the brain the initial leader that started this uprising actually was raised on naruto and naruto only yes sir and it looks like we have one individual that was a streamer of some sorts apparently he wasn't as evolved as other humans uh, in the facial structure but he seemed to have predicted that naruto was the cause he was crucified and cast out but as we know from history the ones who were cast out and crucified for reasons that aren't crazy are usually the ones who are right and they live terrible lives because people are too stupid to see the truth. Yep. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I, may, I may have found the fuck. Why is it so hard? Saying a streamer, I'm telling you, believe it or not, I might be. I might be. I might actually be. Gohan, one-handed Kamehameha, Naruto writers could only dream. Naruto writers were watching that, okay? They were watching that, and they probably stopped writing Naruto after they watched Dragon Ball Z. I mean, to be fair, for those of you that haven't been convinced yet, let me give you a good example of this, okay? I want you to look at every streamer that literally puts Naruto as the number one enemy. Look at all of them, okay? And this is going to create even more enemies than I already have, but look at all of them, okay? And you tell me I'm wrong. And what I mean by that, I'm not attacking who they are or their character. I'm talking, I'm talking their stream persona. Personas, right? Who they are and, you know, their character and who they are off stream. I'm sure they're decent, good people. Stream personas only. Okay. Complete bullshit robotic. Hello. Welcome guys to the stream. Oh, oh, Squirrel Muffin 62. Thank you. I hope you had a good day too. Oh my God. Did you get a haircut today? Oh, oh my goodness. I need to get one too because, you know, my hair's growing out like this, but realistically, I hope you had a good one. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I've, I've had some hairdressers or Hey man, how are you doing? Oh my God, you had a vegan salad today? Oh my goodness, a little redundant, but yeah, a vegan salad, cool. Right, same bullshit, you understand me? I'm telling you, bro, you look at every Naruto, I don't give a f There's probably Naruto supporters that are fucking jacked as hell huge, right? But I promise you, I promise you, if you look close enough, you're gonna find what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, no mother that knows his shit is looking at Naruto and say, yeah, what a f I'm telling you, call me crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding, guys. Well, half kidding. CEO of Kick Schizo, I'm not the CEO. That's too much work. I'm just kidding. I do a lot of work. That's why my stream schedule has been real inconsistent. It's been tough. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get full recruitment powers because I know exactly who we need. All right. My couple, uh, signings have been exquisite, natural integrations, whereas their integration, you know, their signings have not been so uh, natural, but I'm kind of, you know, I'm, you know, it's not everyone. So I've, I've been a streamer for 10 years, 10 years plus. So I'm not calling, you know, it just, this is just the business. I mean, I, I know, I know who is going to naturally integrate, who's going to want to grind, right? And versus who's looking at it as a retirement plan and they're not going to do shit right one piece fans be like bro i swear in like 60 episodes it gets really <laughs> oh shit i mean listen every anime has its ups and downs okay we, we can't deny dragon ball z definitely had its irritations annoyances right for example the spirit bomb motherfucker took like 16 episodes just to see it and fail right it's like come on you know what i'm saying come on you understand me like that, that's an issue that pissed me the fuck off right especially like back in the day when one episode came out a week right it's like the fuck, what the fuck? That made me so angry. I hated that shit, bro. F the Cell Saga was the best saga, but I admit to you, th there was like parts of the Cell Saga that, man, I hated waiting for. You know what I mean? God damn. Like, the part where uh, Goku was dealing with the uh, heart thing, right? Before Trunks gave him the medication and then he got there and shit, right? It was like 16 episodes of watching him f***ing flail in bed and you're like, oh, f right like it's just an it just 16 afk episodes and you're just waiting for him to hand him some fucking pills right the medicine arc yeah that, that shit was wild or, or like the same with the frieza or the same thing in the frieza uh, uh, uh saga right same shit we're waiting for fucking goku to come down right and all you see is fucking 25 episodes of a cut scene of him fucking in the fucking thing right and they're all waiting for him to arrive it's like the well what the f yeah the healing pot arc that's right that shit was wild. But to be fair, we see that everywhere. We see that everywhere. Like, I actually hate when shows do this. I hate when shows... This isn't just anime. This is real TV. This is real, like, Netflix series bullshit, right? Where, you like, they show you that someone is, like, a bad guy, but, like, the main character doesn't know yet, and they're, like, friends with them, right? And it's, like, you know, and you're just sitting there, like, just waiting, anxiety build up. It's, like, it's not suspense. We're not getting a thrill out of this, right? We already know what the f*** is gonna happen. Why do we have to watch the main character go through bullshit when you... You've already showed us it. At least surprise 
surprise us with the turning of the best friend. Surprise us with it. Don't show us beforehand. Don't show... That's trash. It's trash. I don't want to sit 19 episodes in knowing that this person's the one betraying and watching this dumbass main character say, oh, huh, it can't be you. You're my friend, right? I hate that shit. Either don't tell me and let me find out just like the main character or don't fucking do it. The concept you're talking about only goes with films, not series. Brother, I can name like 19 TV series that do that. I can name probably 700 of them actually. What are you talking about? Films aren't even long enough for us to see that. Films are like two fucking hours. When the fuck are they gonna have time to show us the betrayal and then wait in 80 minutes, huh? Well, usually when films show us the betrayal, we find out five minutes later for the main character because he gets betrayed instantly. Those films are only two fucking hours. It's the TV, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Oh man. Train missing the pointing and suck my cock. What is that? A regurgitated a uh, 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 Twitter, Reddit, or whatever the f comment you just type everywhere? Pussy ass little bitch missing the pointing. What point, pussy? If anyone's missing the point, it's you. It's you. Believe me, it's you. Are you the what a fed up day guy? I'm about to be. Overwatch today? No. I see the fing meta in Junker Queen. You think I'm gonna play Overwatch or in Junker Queen fing meta? Fuck no. Junker Queen is not meta? Then why the f do I see it in Grandmaster Q? 24 fing seven, huh? I see fing Junker Queen and that fing uh, uh, dude that fing uh, lifts dark matter up. What's his name? Enigma? He can hardly play Hog. What's the switching to? What's he switching to? Low level learning, you're laughing too? Okay, okay. I remember all you guys laughing. When I go owl, we'll see. When I become a fing owl, we'll see, motherfuckers. I will, I will be Overwatch League one of these days. You will see my Roadhog in Overwatch League, okay? You will see me fing uh, 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 hook these fing guys, okay? I'll hook them. I'll hook them and I'll kill them. You'll see the feed. Trainwrecks TV hooked. Who are the pro players? Emong, Among, Among GG, Among Us. What about, what's his name? What's the other name? A uh, 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 pigeon? Uh, no. Uh, uh, seagull? Seagull. When I hook him, what's good? Huh? Who else? Who else is a pro? Name the pros. Name the pros. Put me in a Roadhog game with him. Defran? Easy, I already hooked him. Done. Who else? Huh? XQCO, put him on Winston. Put him on there, okay? Give me Roadhog. He tries jumping away. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. The friend would clap you. Technically, he did, but I got him once. That's all that matters. Okay, he has seven years in the game. I have seven minutes. One hook, relative, you do the math. I'm better than him. I am the best hooker. Okay, you can't deny that. I am the best hooker in NA. And believe me, in NA, <laughs> that's saying a lot with the hookers around here. Okay. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>